All right, I'm gonna let Chris video for you while I walk you through the demo. All right, started up the Robotic Labyrinth game, and you see there's two systems messages here. System status, which currently displays booting um, because it's in the boot state, and running time, which would have showed the actual running time of the robot, but we weren't able to implement that. Um, since this is the first time we've turned on the system, we're gonna level the board. And that pops up another GUI, which has buttons going in the north, south, east, and west direction with numbers in them, uh, 1, 5, and 10. These numbers move that many steps in the direction indicated, and uh, since the board isn't level right now, so we need to actually level it. And uh, let's say the board is you know, really low off, the level is really off, so we need to move it a lot. Um, as you can see, it's moving quite a lot, and there's no limits actually on this. Um, it can account for, uh, it has approximately 300 steps in each, either direction that I can go in. But that looks about level, wouldn't you say, Chris? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, now that it's level, we need to set it. And we click set, and it's mapping now. What's actually going on right now is what I described earlier. It's finding the five different features of the board. The Again, the start location, end location, path, walls, and holes. Uh, on top of that, though, it's finding points of interest. For us, points of, points of interest are corners of the path. Uh, these are basically straight lines that we need to find. Uh, these are the goal positions because we had a little bit of problems finding the total solution without them. And after it finds those, all the different points, they're not ordered. So to order them, it finds the geodesic distance from each one to the next one. So from here to here, then here to here, then here to here, and so forth, all the way through the labyrinth. Um, this process takes about 50 seconds to a minute, uh, just depending on the quality of the picture it gets. And uh, after that's done, it'll give us another prompt and We'll move forward, but for now, let it finish mapping and finding the points. Okay, popped up the message, placed the ball on the board. So that's what we need to do. Here you go, Chris. Okay, we, st we put it in the start location and uh, we're ready to hit start. There's a little problem in that section of the board. Um, the board is not perfect, and there's little like holes basically. And as you can see, it just fell in the hole. Um, part of that problem is we have to go from tracking to finding the path, and then finally send the motors in roughly 0.15 seconds. Um, but through you know testing, found that just getting the picture from the camera takes approximately 0.1 seconds. So we only have 0 .5, 0 0.05 to do everything else. And that's a technical limitation we found because of the quality of the camera. It's just a generic uh, web camera that you can go buy at a store. It's nothing special. But we figured out a solution to that. We went to a store, got googly eyes, which we spray painted black, golf tees, which we cut off the base, and we just put them in the hole like that and the ball can't fall in the hole anymore. Um, it's a problem that we, again, we weren't able to solve just because of the hardware. Uh, we're gonna put those in and we'll come back with them all in and we'll show you it running with them in. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and demo um, the solving process with our bumpers here in the holes so that our ball cannot fall in. Uh, one thing I would like to note before we start is that there are a few mechanical issues that we ran into when trying to uh, solve this labyrinth. The first issue is that the actual board itself uh, is not completely flat. It has a lot of bumps and uh, divots along the way that make it really hard to predict how the ball is going to move. For example, we can place the ball here and it will stay still, 
Um, however, if we move it over here where there's a divot, you probably can't see it on the camera, but if we try to place it, it will roll down back into the start location, and it keeps doing this every time. So there are a few problem areas um, when we try to solve, such as the start location um, here at hole 6, sometimes down here at 13, uh, and then 35 and around here and around 42. Uh, these are problems that we notice, uh, or areas that we notice the ball tends to get stuck in. So we might use this golf tee to uh, aid it along the way so that it doesn't take too long to solve. Um, another issue we ran into is uh, we only had a few months to do this project and uh, we had maybe about an actual week to work on the actual um, pathing AI uh, to solve the labyrinth. So the robot itself is not very smart simply because we did not get a good amount of time to work on the actual AI portion of the project. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, we will go ahead and um, place the ball in the start location where it is and start it. As you see, it's just rolling back and forth and uh, going to go ahead and move it off a little bit. Get it to that corner. After that, it should be okay for a while. See, it's just going back and forth. It's actually stuck on the bumper. That happens occasionally. There we go. You can see occasionally that it skips a corner and then starts moving. That's that problem I was talking about before where you have 0.15 seconds. Um, it, right now it's taking about 0.13, which is a little slow, and that's what's causing a lot of the problems actually. That and uh, MATLAB has inherently it's slower on top of the bad hardware we have for this. Or the less than optimal hardware rather. As you can see, it solved it. And uh, actually gonna show you one more thing real quick. Uh, this algorithm can, op or excuse me, our code works on any starting location for the ball. So just, I'll show it starting right there. Okay, leveled it out, starting again. There you go, it's solved it again. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter where it starts. We just ran into a lot of technical 
problems that we couldn't solve. 